So uh, we, we gave him a call and we were like, hey, I'm the manager of company XYZ. Um, I, I have a huge incident here. I'm losing hundreds of thousands of euros mm -hmm. every hour. So we need to resolve this quickly. So yeah. first of all, the sense of urgency. Yeah. Second, I'm the manager of the company, which means that you are the level boss. You have the authority. And then third one, this person was sleeping. It was 3.30, 4 a.m. in the morning. So this person was sleeping. He was on duty. He was the engineer on duty, yeah. but he was sleeping. So we we hope that he will not be so suspicious or he will be sleep, you know, not checking the facts in detail. Mm. But this person, actually, he was uh, quite, uh, quite good. Uh, he demanded that we send an email mm. to, to verify that we have like an official request an email from from my uh, personal corporate account just to prove that i'm the, the person i'm of course um yeah and then we had specially crafted emails in advance we had a, a fake domain name which was prepared and we we actually had ourselves prepared for the step mm -hmm. and then we actually we did send an email from this account but it was marked as a phishing email so mm -hmm. we had to be quite adaptive yeah. and creative so immediately in like in just a minute i just created the gmail with the same first name mm -hmm. last name as the, the person i was impersonating mm -hmm. and then my email got through the filters mm -hmm. because the other email it went straight into the spam folder so the the engineer he couldn't see the email coming okay so even the pixel of the email it was able to realize that this is just a Indeed. More of but when i created the gmail it was 50-50, you know, because he's going to spot the at Gmail address, which yeah. makes it less uh, possible for, for success. But then if he doesn't because he's sleepy, then it's okay. And he, he didn't quite get it. I mean, at some point he did, but it was already too late.